In trigonometry, to verify the identity that secant squared minus 1 does equal tangent squared, we first note that our goal is to write both sides of this identity as the same result. Now, one common method of verifying identities is to rewrite the uh, uh, common trig functions in terms of sines and cosines. So we recall that secant of x means 1 over cosine of x, and that tangent of x means sine of x over cosine of x. So to rewrite these, 1 over cosine squared of x minus 1 is equal to sine squared of x over cosine squared of x. Now in verifying identities, it is improper to multiply both sides of an equation by something, since this is not an equation, but an identity. So we need to use algebra to simplify both sides to show that both sides will simplify to the same expression. In particular, on the left side, we could uh, find common denominators. So if we wrote 1 as 1 over 1, the common denominator between cosine squared and 1 would be cosine squared. So we'll multiply the second uh, fraction by cosine squared of x over cosine squared of x. This will become 1 over cosine squared of x minus cosine squared of x over cosine squared of x. And our right side has not changed. We still wish to show that it works out to sine squared over cosine squared. Since the left side now has common denominators, the numerator will become 1 minus cosine squared of x over cosine squared of x. And we still wish that this would become sine squared of x over cosine squared of x. Well, certainly, we know that 1 minus cosine squared does equal sine squared over cosine squared of x. And that must equal sine squared over cosine squared. Since both expressions on both sides are the same thing, this must be a true identity. And so therefore, secant squared minus 1 equals tangent squared will be used uh, throughout math courses. In particular, we note that this is a common expression used in calculus. But true, sine, uh, secant squared minus 1 is tangent squared.